We would like to thank you again for attending tonight's event brought to you by Yokao Boxing. And now, please let me introduce our lovely promoter tonight, Miss Stefania Doncic Picelli. So Stefania Welcome. Picelli from Yokao now coming into the ring uh, just before we get to start the main event. <laughs> promoter of uh, this sh show tonight and also the, the owner of Muay Thai Combat. Uh, good evening, and one everybody. Of the leading Muay Thai martial arts I'm so glad to be from here the world. in Thailand, Pattaya, for Muay Thai Combat Mania show because uh, this show has been created to promote Muay Thai worldwide. And tonight I'm here in Thailand, that is the mother's country of, of Muay Thai. I know that you're all waiting the fight of the year, that is Joss and Clive Fighters versus Kem Sinsompinong. So what I can say is, yes, enjoy the fight. So there you have Thank you again, Miss Stefania Doncic Picelli, uh, our lovely promoter. And it does a lot of tireless work for about promote Muay Thai around the world. Really helped uh, get the sport out there in the last couple and of years. And now let's get to it, and, shall we? Uh, Tonight's main event. What we've all been waiting for. Fights like this can only be good for the sport. Nothing more frustrating than when you have two top fighters who won't fight each other. In got the, the best here. blue head corner. Head the event, uh, Muay Thai combat mania. This fight really he is, is uh, great. the WBC the Muay Thai and Contender Asia's champion. An opinion really He's fought to be on 252 the, uh, fights. fights and won 177 of those. Kevin From Thailand, the form fighter. Mr. Ya Sanklai Chuck Fairtex. And Yossi Klai enters the ring. So here we have Ya Fairtex, one of the big names from around the world. Really, it's testament to the hard work Yokkao put in to put this show. But also, not just Yokkao as well should take all the credit for this. You also got to put a lot of credit for this fight happening to Fairtex and also to Sitson Pinong. In this uh, day, day and age now, it's not very often that you really get a big fight like this that the fans really want to see. Most of the fighters, the big camps, the age of the internet, they're looking to keep their guy from meeting the best of the best. So we're often denied the chance to see such a high press siege fight. But Fairtex sits up and on. Full credit to them tonight as well. They've allowed their top names there, their mark fighters, to actually get in the ring and see who is the best. And in the red big corner. Big Jim Owens will let their fighters do that nowadays with He's their high profile worldwide, world renowned fighters like this. 34 fights. Yeah, we're really seeing the best of the best. 112 of those fights. Kilos. And I've been following Jotun Klai's uh, career since Contender Asia. I'm sure you've been following him for a little bit longer, Rob. But he is also the WMC champion sort of he looks in, in the super shape, welterweight he's division and very the champion of Thai Fight 2011. So as I said before, from both fighters with a lot of training center. From both camps, both very ho camps, camps around the world, both world renowned camps, and they're both taking a chance here to give the fans what they want to see. Kem coming into the ring now. And I was chatting to uh, Tim Sinsong last night and he was saying that the winner of this fight is going to have some terrific opportunities in uh, 2013. Really great chance for each fight. And the atmosphere really is uh, electric here at the World Boxing Stadium in Pattaya. This is the one that we've all been waiting for. As uh, Kem removes his t-shirt, I think you're going to see the difference in size between the two fighters. Similar height. Kem, Kem's got the height advantage, I would say, slightly. Rob corrected me there, but in terms of uh, stats here, I think your is going to be uh, much the thicker, much the stronger.
lot of support for vocal support for Kim here. Was based briefly at Fairtex after his original uh, gym was a uh, contract was bought out by Sit Song Pinong. Uh, based originally at Fairtex at first, where he trained alongside Yod Sang Klai for a short stint. Originally came from the very famous Saw Plungit camp. Not a, a camp that's particularly re re renowned around the world, but one of the most famous uh, camps in Thailand, renowned for producing some of the best fighters the sports ever seen. Kems had been in with a lot of big names in the past. As a younger age, he beat Sanchai on points before. And for three fights with Sanchai, two losses, one win. Beat him at Omnoy Stadium. Yod Sanchai also been in with a lot of big names in the past. Morono War Pun, Wachirachai Kao Samrit, he won in a decisive fashion, knocked Wachirachai out in the opening round. Sam A as well, Sam A, uh, Gayang Hardao Jim, uh, fought Yod Sankai, I think about six times in the past. Ponsone Sid Monchai, he KO'd with a high kick. One oh. factor which could play into uh, Kem's favour going into this fight is that he has been consistently testing himself against top Thai opposition. Uh, there was Yod Sankai has primarily been fighting Westerners for certainly the last five or six years since he won the Contender Asia. Uh, took part in uh, a Toyota Marathon, I think, last year. He reached the final of that, but he was defeated on points in the final. A lot of talk before the fight about whether or not Yodsen guy used to get the better of Kem in the gym, in the sparring and clinching. But at the end of the day, a spar's a spar, but a fight's a fight. Two very different things. And we're about to find out very shortly. <laughs> ท่านอดีตนายกเมืองพัทยานายสุชัยรวยรินในการทำพิธีถอดมงคลให้กับคุณเข้มสิทธิ์สองพี่น้องครับผมเชิญครับ And a lot of people predicting that Yorton Clyde is going to start fast. And now fast. we will have the so former mayor of Pattaya, Mr. Sushay Roy Rin, in the ceremony of Prem Prem removal Sarah, of the Mongkon. The for owner Mr. Of, uh, Kim is his son is about to take the Monkon off uh, of Yod Tenkai. So a very famous soap opera star now in his own right, uh, Prem. The general feeling is that the longer this fight goes on for, the more it will favour Kem. Certainly sits on Pinong Field. If he can survive the first three rounds, he'll win the fight. Anything can happen though in the Muay Thai fight, especially with fighters of this pedigree. And Yod Tenkai, very powerful. He's a big hitter. Drops <laughs> Oh, I think John Wayne Parr said it was the hardest he'd ever been hit in his life. And he's had more than his fair share of fights. So round number one of the fight we've all been waiting for. Came in with a low kick there early on. Yod Senkai looking very composed, very determined look on his face though. The size difference is not as noticeable as I thought it would be. And I would think with the height of Kim as well, it uh, goes in his favour. No Yod question Sinclair though that Yod, sharp jab. No question that Yod Sinclair is the more powerful puncher. Kim in with a low kick. Yod looking for the straight left. From that south horse stance. Sharp high kick there from Kim. Very tight, very wary of the punching power of Yon Chen Klai. Working that low kick in again to the back leg of Yon Chen Klai. Again, very sharp with his low kicks. Uh, Yon Chen Klai, they call him the boxing computer, a very intelligent fighter. He used to have, uh, went, before he went to uh, make the switch from uh, Pitching D to uh, Fairtex, very much a technical fighter. Always had strong hands, dangerous elbows, but a lot more of a technical fighter. When he went to Fairtex, they kind of bolted him up, went down the power route. Kemsing Song being on the edge, just leant backwards out of the way of one of the... Sharp, straight, solid body kick there from Kem. Kem just leant backwards out of the way of one of Yod Sinclair's body Yod kicks. looking to open up with a punch combination there. Kem, very tight guard. Solid body kick again from Yod Sinclair. That's one of his favourite weapons. Sharp elbow over the top from Kem. Kem's corner telling him, keep calm, keep composed, keep it tight. Can't afford to make any mistakes against the power of uh, Yod Sinclair. Yodson Clyde looking very confident in the early rounds. 
sharp low kick on the front leg there from Kemp. The odd looking with a body shot there. Nice straight combination. Knee. Just led with the jab, followed up with a body shot on the knee. Kemp keeping it tight in with that body kick again. Another solid body kick coming in from Jonsen Clyde. Real focused look on Kemp's face. I think that one was partially blocked. Yeah, no, a good block there from Kemp. In with a fast push kick. Yod still push, stalking forward. You can see him nearly looking for the opening for the, to let the punches go. A sharp counter elbow from Kem again now. Another fast high body kick from Kem. Yeah, Kem being aggressive, just letting Yod Sinclair know he's not going to have it all his own way in these early rounds. Making Kem, uh, making Yod Sinclair miss there with a kick. End of round number one. Side. I'm sure this will be uh, front page news in the Thai newspapers tomorrow. Kim's cornerman there. Uh, watch her upon, just telling him, keep it tight, keep the guard tight, keep making him pay with those counters. Yeah, I think Kem's corner will probably feel so far so good. They would have been uh, expecting an early onslaught from Jots and Klein. It hasn't come yet. Round number two about to come up. Yodson Clyde really does look in incredible shape for this fight. I think he's had a new uh, strength and conditioning coach. Coming forward with a body kick there. Yeah, there's some suggestion that he might have taken some recent fights lightly, but that's certainly not the case for this one. No, I don't think they, they could afford to let him take it lightly with the reputation of the two camps on the line here. Big body kicks coming in from Kem there. Yod stalking forward, looking for the opening for the punch, but Kim just picking him off with those body kicks again there. Elbows going in from Yod Senkai there, into the clinch. Kim definitely will be the stronger of the two, or the, the favourite of the two to win the fight in the clinch. Not Yod's strongest point at all. Good body kick there from Kim. Yeah, Kim's really landing well with those body kicks so far. Yod Senkai just short with a right hand. Kem just using that push kick well as well, just let, stopping uh, Yod Senkai from getting any rhythm in. Solid knee to the midsection from Yod Senkai. Into the clinch. Yod stalking forward again, big kick from him that time. Solid left kick from him. Answered with a kick from Kem though. Again, it's a stalemate in the clinch. I think the referee's gonna step in, separate them. Sharp push kick Sharp from Kim. And another hard body kick from him. Yod Senkai looking for the hook and the uppercut there. Yod Senkai really wants to let his hands go. A nice long knee from Yod Senkai to follow the punches up then. I think they might have clashed heads there. Solid Lovely knee stepping knee there from Yod Senkai. And another good knee. Solid body kick now. Kim just uh, sitting back a little bit. Nice back. Body kick from him though. Action really intensifying in this second round and it's your Good round for Yotsen Kai so far. And with a solid hook there. And a big body kick there though from Kem. Yotsen Kai answers but Kem blocks it again. Kem just uh, losing his balance there after the low kick. Yot going close with the hook again. In with Jeff the elbow. The left elbow, I think it might just have missed. Solid body kick from Yotsen Kai again. Lovely overhand punch there from Kim. 
Yodge shaking it off, stepping in with that long knee again. He's had some Another good long knee from Yodge and Kai. End of round number two. That was a good round from Yodson Clyde. The question is, how much has that weight cut taken out of him? Is he going to fade in the latter rounds? As we approach the third round, these are the rounds that really will decide the destiny of these two fighters. Huge moment in the careers of Kem Sit Song Pinong and Yodson Kly Fairtex. So round number three coming up. Yodson Kly stalking forward again. Solid kick from Kem there at the start. Another good body kick from him. Yodzenkai answers with one of his own. Kem with that right elbow. Now Yodzenkai putting together the punches. Kem onto him with a straight right hand and a right knee. Good body kick from Kem, uh, from Yodzenkai, but Kem just swaying back. The knee. <laughs> nice body kick again there from Kem. And again, answered by Yodson Klai. Very even fight at this stage. Nice long knee from Kim there. Yeah, Yodson Klai really getting a taste of his own medicine. That was a strike that he had so much success with in the second round. Kim just starting to work the knees in a bit more in the clinch now. Starting to work in the clinch now a bit more. Last round, there was a not so much effort from both. Nice rising elbow though from Yodson Klai. Kem just looks to use that leg to tie him up. Nice solid body kick from Kem, from Yodzenkai, sorry. Followed up with an elbow. Good knee from Again, Kem Yod counters with a straight Kem. knee. Looks to sweep him, but Yodzenkai keeps his balance. Fires Tight guard there, Kem. Yodzenkai still dangerous with those punches. A nice left Kem hand looking for the left from Yodzenkai. Yod starting to open up again now. A big booming kick there back from Kem. Another solid left hand to the body from Jordan Clyde, followed up with a knee as he drives Kem back, another knee. Looking for that, that uppercut elbow. 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 Solid knee from Kem. Solid knee from both. Big elbow Big from right Kem now. Elbow. Got a great fight on the hands here. Really is a really great show of Muay Thai here. Yeah, the crowd sounding Nice there. elbow there from Kem. Yod then goes to war. Walking through it though. Big right hand to the body from Yod, left hand. Kem looks like he's hurt a little bit there from those elbows. Solid body punches. Big elbow oh, there from Elton Klein. That looks like it could be it. I think Beautiful the elbow. Of uppercut left elbow from Jodzin Klein. What a finish. Jodzin Klein dancing in the ring with his Fairtex teammates. And your winner. He's had a fantastic From the blue career, corner, Yos and Clive Vertex.
bit to Yoko Boxing for putting on this show. Jodson Clive Fairtex versus Kem Sitsong Pinong. It was the most eagerly anticipated matchup of the year and it more than lived up to expectations. A spectacular third round KO win for Jodson Clive. 